In this video, we are adding fractions with unlike denominators. So here we have two fractions. Notice one is fourth, so one is sixth. I like to stack my fractions, especially when the denominators are different, because I will be working to the side. Now let's take a look at the bars first, the fraction strips. There you can see in the first bar I have 3 fourths shaded, and in the second bar I have 1 sixth shaded. Now if I tried to combine those into the third bar to figure out what the total is, I'd have a problem. And the problem is, those pieces are not the same sizes. So I can't just combine them and then give a total. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the least common multiple for the denominators. So what I do is I take the 4 and I take the 6, I go off to the side and I find the first five multiples of each number. Now notice the dot, dot, dot. If I had to, I could continue both lists. Uh, if there wasn't something in common in the first five multiples, I could just keep going, just keep counting until they both have something in common there. But I think from here we can see that uh, 12s are in common. And so what that means is I'm going to now find equivalent fractions uh, for the 3 fourths and the 1 sixth, and I'm going to use 12 as the new denominator. So we can see here that uh, I can see that 4 times 3 equals 12 and 6 times 2 equals 12. So I need that middle number. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make big giant ones out of them. That's how we find equivalent fractions. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Alright, so 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're ready to solve the problem. 9 twelfths plus 2 twelfths is 11 twelfths. We need to simplify. I can see that 11 and 12 are consecutive numbers, uh, therefore they it is a simplified fraction. Alright, so let's take a look at another example. Here we have 6 and 9 as the denominator, so I'm going to go off and find the common denominator, which is 18. I'm going to change both fractions into equivalent fractions that have 18 as the new denominator. So 6 times 3 is 18, 9 times 2 is 18. I complete my big giant ones so that I can find the numerators. 5 times 3 is 15, and 4 times 2 is 8. I'm now ready to solve by adding those together. 15 plus 8 is 23. 23 18 is an improper fraction, so we need to convert that. And there we have done that. If you need help in converting an improper fraction, I have another vi a video available that explains that. We can see the final answer of 1 and 5 eighteenths. Let's do one more example here. We can see that 10 and 4 are different denominators, so I'm going to take those and find a common denominator, the least common denominator or least common multiple. And we can see that 20 is the least common multiple. So we're now going to set up equivalent fractions using big giant ones. 20 is now my new denominator. 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. Now let's add. We get 11 twentieths. 11 is a prime number. And 20 is not a multiple of that prime number, and therefore that is a simplified fraction. 